So the current industry standard in the oil and gas industry for dealing with recycle reuse is what is referred to as the flock and drop method. Um, what that does is you oxidize the iron in an effort to remove it from the water so that that water has now been made um, frac ready. Um, without doing this, that iron poses problems uh, with chemistries that are used in the frac process. Uh, down hole, it can create issues and it creates several pain points uh, for producers within this industry. Um, at EPDI, we've kind of revolutionized that process. Uh, we've not only formulated our own process, but our own chemistries that are used for that process. And the, the, the approach that we take is what's referred to as iron chelation. Um, we utilize a, two agents to oxidize that water. But those, those two agents, those two chemistries, have a unique ability to chelate that iron. And by chelate, what we mean is that our chemistries reach out and they grab a hold of that iron, they bind it, and then they pull it back into solution so that that fluid is frac ready. You no longer have the need to remove that iron, which then drives down costs. We, we bind that iron and keep it in solution, so then it's passed on in a way that it doesn't pose a problem later on to the producer as they, they complete that well. So we want to take a moment to show um, how our chemistries react within this specific fluid. This fluid was pulled from a customer of ours. They have an SWD. This water was spec to be used uh, for recycle reuse purposes. But as you can see, uh, it's got a dark tint to it, um, which is indicative of possibly SRB bacteria, potential iron sulfide issues, um, and definitely a very low ORP. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our first chemistry. Um, our first chemistry is our proprietary EK2012. Um, its job is to get in and suppress the pH. Um, it's also going to begin to act, uh, react with each of those um, scales that are found in there, the iron sulfide itself, uh, bicarbonate scales, formate scales, um, and it really lays the groundwork and recycle reuse as it relates to our process. So we'll give that a moment to react. And then we'll add our second chemistry, which, re which is referred to as W7. W7 does the oxidative work within that fluid. And we should see a color change here pretty quick. Go ahead and draw some of this out and get it to mix up. And then we'll take a sample and put it over here. And what we're gonna watch is the ORP value. So you can see we've already changed from black to yellow. It'll golden up as that ORP increases. And then what we wanna look for is a color change. That color change tells us as it moves from gold to what will be a clear, it tells us that the iron has been bound and pulled into solution, and there it goes. And as you can see, the ORP value has just skyrocketed. Um, that's an indication that the iron chelating portion of this process is complete and that the iron is now bound. At this point, that fluid is frac ready.